So we're backstage at the Clubland Weekend of 2019 here in Blackpool, and I'm currently joined by DJ, producer, and he's still representing Ultra Beat, Chris Henry. Hi, Chris, how are Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, excited to be here. I'm a day early, I'm not on till tomorrow night, but you've got to come along and watch the Venger Boys and that, haven't you? Of course, you've got to jump on board the Venger Boys, haven't you? I've never actually seen them, I've missed them, I've crossed paths with them tons of times, but it'd be, it'd be nice to sit backstage tonight and just watch what goes on in there. <laughs> now, you're playing your set tomorrow, which is the Sunday. Uh, what can we expect from you? Um, the usual, <laughs> which is normally party anthems, a good dance beat and whatnot. And, um, I, I, I try to please the crowd, I always have, I always get told why don't you play the new stuff and do a remix of whatever's in the charts at the moment and we do do stuff like that but when it comes to live sets I just try to give them what I know is already been a big hit and in an ultra beat style and it, you know it's worked for, for me for 15 years I don't really want to change it, I change it every set's not the same but uh, yeah I stick to Clubland and and that, that's what it's about and that's what we've all gathered here for this for this weekend and ultra beat you know it's a soundtrack to a generation is ultra beat and it's still played in every club you go to pretty green eyes it's played in every nightclub every weekend what did it feel like for you to, to play a part in creating such a great song we were kids we, we, we didn't know it was happening in front of our eyes and we didn't really understand it it was just blowing up we walked past clubs and it'd be playing a car would go past it would be playing we knew it was big but we didn't understand how big i mean if you sold that type of thing that type of units now as a single you'd probably be number one for six months you'd be up there now with the and beyond saying yeah, that because yeah. everything's changed you know what your spotify's and your, all that stuff but um, it, 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 we, we knew it was good, we knew we had something and uh, it's given me a career so I love it, I, I can't get out of it and I know people turn the, the noses up to this type of music sometimes but look, go and look out there but there's 2,000 people having the time it's of their lives. Absolutely bouncing out there tonight, the, it's a euphoric atmosphere yeah. and you soak it up when you walk out, it's electrifying. Yeah. Now obviously Ultra Beat, like I said, it gets played in every nightclub, it doesn't matter what day of the week you're going, pretty green eyes, it's always a fan favourite. So. To play a part in creating such a great song, and you're still here performing now, and so what are your thoughts on Clubland to this day? Um, I just think it's brilliant that it's almost as if the kids that are out there now know the music because their mums used to listen to it. <laughs> and that's what we, we thought at first, but it's not the case because there's young and there's old out there and there's all the people in between. It's music that if you play some on a Clubland album now for the first time in their lives, if they've never heard it before, they'll enjoy some of it. It's all songs, isn't it? It, it is course, songs. Yeah, and, and, if, and if you look back in nostalgia to the early 2000s, I mean, when Clubland came around, bands like yourself, Ultra Beat, and there was Flip and Phil, there was a few pioneers breaking through, coming through and emerging, that kind of swept out the boy band, the Britpop culture, and, and Clubland became a popular thing for decades, and it's still popular now, staggeringly popular. Like I say, you go outside, there's 2,000 ravers out there tonight, all dressed up, ready to see you. It, it must be great, right? Yeah, it, 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 we look forward to this all year round. We work hard as well, putting things like this together, but. What, what's great about Clubland is it can also put me at the other end of the country in a little club where it holds 50 people and that little town's never had something like an old be DJ set in their local pub or and it's such a great club. feeling yeah so it, what, what what the difference is with Clubland is it's here it's there it's everywhere so it's dot if you put your thumb on the map of the UK I've probably played some <laughs> in a pub or in a club or in a now, as well as a talented DJ, you're also a producer, aren't you? Yeah, well, yeah. And, that, and that's what you do. Um, are we going to see any fresh music from you in the future? Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I wrote a track three weeks ago with Rebecca, who's the female vocalist for Ultimate. And she's supporting you at the Clubland Live weekend of this weekend, isn't absolutely, she? Absolutely, yeah, and she'll be singing that track. Um, if you've heard the club filler, he's a hardcore DJ, he's done a version of the track and he's been playing it in his hardcore set. It's, it's apparently it's one of the biggest hardcore tunes of the moment. It's become really popular. Yeah, it's really, it's doing well. So it's yeah. trending, should we say, trending on Twitter and social media. Now, speaking of social media, how can we uh, keep up to date with what you're up to? Uh, just at Ultrabeat, just type that in and you'll find me, no problem. Um, and I'm on there, I try and keep things current and fresh and up to date and if I've got nothing interesting to put, I'll put a, a silly video up or something. So <laughs> I, try and get, I, try, I interact, I respond to everyone as well, like I do, I'll do. i reply to you if you message me, I always will. I might block you afterwards. but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris Henry, it's been a pleasure, thank you. Thank you.